What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members and new members, welcome. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on content of Star Wars like today's. So recently, Aman Esfandi, who plays Ezra Bridger in the Ahsoka series, was joined on the panel at LA Comic Con, and he spoke a little bit about his character, and he did kind of talk about and basically hinting how there is going to be more things to come and potentially a season two for the Ahsoka series, but didn't really give much and was very hush-hush about it as he was trying to avoid certain questions because, again, season two looks like it's in the works and looks like it might be happening, especially now with Dave Filoni getting that promotion. But what do we know so far of Ezra Bridger's missing years? One of the important things I feel like that we are not really focusing on. Now, we know that his time on Peridia remains something of a mystery, he and Sabine didn't really take the time to fill one another in. Now, some of us had even speculated that this could be because Lucasfilm hadn't really quite decided what that time would look like just yet. But it's becoming clear Dave Filoni has planned out this entire story and Ezra's written was actually quite deliberate. Now, whatever happened on Peridia, like I said, is still an unknown and the truth will surely be revealed with time. There's some evidence both Ezra and Thrawn met dangerous forces on Peridia, with Thrawn mysteriously elsewhere when Morgan Elsbeth's Eye of Sion arrived in the galaxy, even though he knew she was coming. Now, the dark mercenary Jedi Balin Skull believed Thrawn and the Great Mothers were actually fleeing something they considered terrifying, and this could be also connected to Ezra's fashion change. Now, Ahsoka's ending left Ahsoka Tano and Sabine Wren stranded on Peridia, meaning it's reasonable to assume they will encounter whatever forces and beings Ezra met for themselves. Hopefully, it won't be too long before Lucasfilm confirms on an Ahsoka Season 2 and this story continues because this is one that a lot of people are questioning, especially with getting Ezra back to the main galaxy and leaving back, like I said, Ahsoka and Sabine and not just them two, but Balin and Shin as well. Balin, obviously, he has a plan because he's looking for the Mortis gods as we did get to see their statues in the series. And when it comes to Shin, she still doesn't yet know what really is going on or who's still even on Peridia with her future still in the unknown. A lot of questions. I mean, I would definitely love to see something maybe where we get a mini series on Ezra and Thrawn and we get to see what they were dealing with before Ahsoka and Sabine arrived to Peridia. But guys, comment down below. What do you believe the future holds for Ezra Bridger in the Ahsoka series season two and just overall during the Mandalorian era? What will it look like to you and what do you expect for Lucasfilm and Dave Filoni to bring to the table with his character? For more Star Wars content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget to leave a comment down below where I'll catch you guys in the comment section.